Greetings on my little subs and subs to be. I am Master Dominic, and it's my absolute pleasure to welcome you back to Dark Souls Part 25. And in this one, we are going to go after the boss, which... Oh, jeez. Big ugly bug bastard. Okay, I could... Oh, hey, it's the Dark Spirit I was talking about. Where is she? There she is. Dark Spirit Maneater Mildred. He's supposed to be a lot like the, uh... Butchers that were in the Depths area earlier. Oh, shit. Damn, she can move. Probably because she's not wearing any kind of armor. With such a low equip load, she probably d uh, she can move like hell. That also means that she takes heavy damage from pretty much anything. So, if I can just... I bet if I can land a heavy soul arrow, it would take her out instantly. Well, not instantly, but it's damn close. Oh, shit, she kicked me! Bitch! Fuck you and fuck your big-ass knife! Suck it. Ah. Retrieve remaining power of dark spirit. Cool. Ooh, a butcher knife. Sweet. You can have fun with that shit later. Damn, I'm up to 10,000 souls now? If I farm down here for a little while, I could get up a level. Which... It's actually viable to farm down in this part, because there's no super huge drops or anything like what there is in the upper part. Oh, also, those little mosquito dudes spawn infinitely. You don't even have to rest at a bonfire to get them to respawn. So, yeah, it's very possible to just farm here infinitely. Also, I'm not going to worry about poison, because it's, it's just poison. I've already shown that I can, like, survive that shit easily. So just explore around here a little bit. See if there's anything good for me to find, and then I'm gonna go after the boss. I don't think there's any, uh, other stuff for me to find right now, actually. I thought there was supposed to be, like, an NPC around here somewhere that I could summon to help me with the boss. But their sign was supposed to be near the bonfire. And I did not see it, so... I guess I haven't done something that Scribe did. Because, you know, he's my go-to for Dark Souls. And, you know, he got that NPC to appear, and I didn't. So, whatever. Run past these guys and into the tunnel. Okay. And go! Oh, I hate the sledge. Oh, oh my fucking god, I hate that. Come on, come on, come on. Just gotta get through the tunnel. Made it! Play logs domain. Okay cure my poison real quick. Okay. What the fuck are you? Ew! What? What? What are... Okay. Creepy. Yeah, I'm gonna just avoid that one. Oh, hey! There is a summon sign outside the door. It's Maneater Mildred! 
Okay, so this is one of those situations where if you take out the uh, invading spirit, you can then summon them as an NPC for a later boss. Which is actually a thing that happens a lot in these kind of games. Okay, cool. So now I have her as backup instead of an enemy. Okay. Let's do this! Yep, giant fucking spider boss. But not just that. Giant fucking spider boss. That also has some bitch without clothes running on top of them. Chaos Witch Quaylog. Okay. So I just need to avoid the fire bar. And hopefully Mildred will be able to do some good damage to it, because oh my god, I am not doing much of anything. Oh god. Lava Barf. Lava Barf got me. Lava Barf got me. God damn, I hate that. Okay, the best strategy for beating her, as far as I could tell from the video that I saw, you just have to, like, keep out from in front of her. Because her main attack is having the spider barf lava at you. And holy shit, Mildred has a lot of health. Because I think she is, like, just dashing through that lava and not taking shit damage. That is impressive. Can I get her for all my boss fights? Because she is doing far more against this boss than Solaire has ever done for me against any of them that he's helped with. Ho back. Ho. Okay. Damn, that's a big ass blade. That thing has some fucking reach on it. Okay, this isn't too bad. Okay, I'm going to switch to the heavies, because it seems like I actually might have enough time when Mildred is distracting her to get off a heavy soul arrow, if I can just have that moment of peace. Plus, she doesn't move around a whole lot. Yeah, so the arrows can actually have time to connect. Ha-ha! <laughs> Drink to the fallen foe! And that sends away Mildred, because for the first time ever, my NPC survived the battle. And whenever the NPC survives the battle, they get sent away instantly. Because it's like their duty has been fulfilled. Now, there's supposed to be an illusory wall around here somewhere, but I don't know where. So I'm going to just jab a couple of these walls to see if anything pops up. Illusory walls are like fake walls that have secrets hidden behind them. You just got to... Honestly, you either have to look up where they are, or you have to jab every single fucking wall. So I'm just checking all these real quick, because I heard there was one here. But apparently there's not.
Ring the bell, Quaylog's domain. Ring the bell of awakening, Quaylog's domain. Okay. And I got a homeward bone. Probably because if I tried to uh, walk back from here, it would take me for goddamn ever. What's down here? Thing got red. Okay, you know what? I'm not risking it. Not risking it. Well, let's see. Homeward bone. Turn to. Return to the last bonfire rested at. Okay, I suppose that's good enough for now. Okay, that definitely helps. Then I think I know the way to get back to the surface quickly. That doesn't involve going through all that bullshit that I went through just to get down here. Okay, so... Let's see... Oh. Well... Let's level up real quick. I'll boost my resistance in... I can only do one? Fuck me. Okay, boosting resistance just because it's resistance. And that'll help with all this shit. And I'm gonna pop some souls real quick. Because it said I needed 17,000 in order to level up again. And I have quite a few poppable souls. So I'm going to equip the biggest ones and pop all of them and see if that lets me level. I just need to... Oh, shit. Damn, that one was worth 3,000? Okay. Uh, oh, I, I need like 100 more. Let's do this one. One of the tiny ones. Yes! Perfect! I don't want to use up all my poppable souls straight away, because if I die having used them, then they'll just sit in the little soul bubble. And if I die and just straight out lose those, I'm going to be extremely pissed. Okay. Now. I believe to get back to the surface quickly from here. Fuck you. There we go. I definitely want to come back here and farm later. Because these enemies, they're not worth a whole lot. But they're not that hard to kill. Okay. This should be the way back up. Some kind of, like, little elevator kind of deal. Okay, just gotta wait for the next one. Alright. Now just ride this up to the top. Man, this place is big as hell. Oh, there we go. Cool. Now, where do I go from here? There's a ladder here. As far as I know, I just gotta get back up. And there's a bug. Bye-bye. Dumb bug. Okay, big bug. Okay. Gotta hate bugs. Okay, and you die? 
This is, okay, this actually isn't too terrible. I, whoa, toxic. What the fuck? Fucking dark guys must have been up there and I didn't see them. And there had to have been more than one because there's no way one of them could have gotten off uh, enough shots to toxify me that fast. Okay. But that means that I can't be toxified again so I don't got to worry about their darts hitting me. And the mosquitoes just poison me. So I'm already poisoned so that won't affect me much. Okay, I just gotta make sure to be very... Whoa! Okay. I have no idea what I just found, but it looks like good shit. Sorcery remedy? I found a sorcery? Okay. I'll have to see what it does later, when I can get to a bonfire and equip it. Remedy. Sounds like a healing thing. Oh, fuck you, dark guys. Where am I supposed to go from here? Shit! Drink! On the plus side, that put, puts me back at the bonfire so I can check out this spell. Remedy. Sorcery, blah blah blah. Reduce bleed and poison buildup and undo various poison effects. Oh, cool. Okay, so I'll definitely equip that. So... Let's see if this actually works. Okay, there. Poisoned. And... I just cast the thing. Hey, and it cures me! Awesome! Alright, so that is where I'm going to end this episode. So thank you all so much for watching. I had an awesome time, and I hope you did too. If you liked this video, please subscribe, and I hope to see every last one of you in the next video. Goodbye!